Tonight, a Polk County firefighter is home from the hospital after he was hurt on the job. Crews were responding to a fire during the winter weather when Edward Lamke's truck slid off the road. Color 10 Sydney Moran joins us live from Central Polk County Fire tonight after speaking with Lamke, who says he's lucky to be alive. Sydney. Well, Bailey and Steve, you can see the damage to this truck is extensive. The windshield completely gone. Windshield wipers broken and hanging above headlights. Even the emergency lights dangling from the front of the truck and even part of the roof caved in. Edward Lampke says after seeing all of this damage, he's very lucky to be alive and also have the support from the community. We all face dangerous every time we go on a call period. For volunteer firefighter Edward Lamke, he knew the risks when he started at Central Polk County Fire back in 2019. I mean, you try to, you try to plan for any event. It's just, you can't see everything coming. Five days ago, Lamke faced one of those risks. He was responding to a fire and winter weather made the road slick in Polk County. Couldn't have been doing more than 15, 18 miles per hour. I mean, it just, it went. Before he knew it, the truck slid off the road and rolled into a ditch. He's entrapped in the truck with his arm pinned below the steering wheel. Um, so at that point, then we start a full response, uh, get mutual aid departments. Lamke spent roughly four days in the hospital. I have a burst fracture in my spine. Lieutenant Tom Morris was there every day. The first day, not knowing where we was going to be, was very emotional. Lamke made it out of the hospital Tuesday and went to see the damage to the fire truck for the first time Wednesday. Feeling pretty lucky. Lamke also feels lucky for the support he's received, especially for his injuries. We knew that he needed a ramp before we could get him home. I made two phone calls and I had 10 guys from area departments out there. And in less than an hour, we put a ramp on the front of his house. Now, Lamke will rest until he can get back to doing what he loves. I can't see me doing anything different now than what I, what I do here. Now, Lamke does have a, there is a GoFundMe set up for Lamke for his medical bills. And there's also a dinner and dessert auction planned later in January on Saturday, January 21st, to help Lamke pay anything he needs to. Reporting in Polk County, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.